Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little hike at uh, Hidden Valley Regional Park, which is a great park kind of on the eastern edge of Reno. Um, it's noted for, you might be able to see over here, uh, this kind of orange red colored soil. Um, I'm not sure what in the local geology causes that, iron rich soil or something, I don't know. I studied geology in college, but I don't know much about the local geology. So if you do know, maybe leave me a comment uh, and that would be cool. Uh, but this is a great park, lots and lots of trails kind of all over the place. I'm going to be following a trail that we did last year, which basically takes us up to the top of this peak and then kind of around this ridge and around and back. Um, it's about a four mile hike. It's pretty short, um, but it's pretty focused. This is a pretty steep climb, so uh, it's a good workout to get up there. Um, I did this hike last year with my wife when I was recovering from a foot injury and it was very difficult. Now I'm still kind of recovering from a back injury, but I think it'll be a little bit easier than it was last year. Um, it's a great day. Um, got some great views. You can look here and see the Mount Rose and Slide Mountain still have snow on them. And then downtown Reno is right over here. Uh, so yeah, should be a great day to hike. Shouldn't take very long and really this is gonna be a pretty short video in terms of scenery. So maybe what I'll do on this one is uh, talk a little bit more about myself, maybe answer some questions that you have or don't have. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy. caterpillars are all over the place. I have to really watch out on the trail to make sure I don't step on them. Pretty big, this one's about an inch and a half long. Before I start climbing up this big steep hill and I'm all out of breath and everything, I uh, just wanted to say uh, it's cool to have 150 subscribers to my channel. Um, my intent was never to get a ton of subscribers and monetize any of the content. I just uh, kind of wanted to create a channel of, of hikes and sort of create a, uh, what do you call it, a database of, of hikes in the local area that maybe people can access and refer to and uh, kind of use as a reference uh, for you know, if you want to go out and hike in the area. So that was my goal when I created this channel. So to have 150 subscribers is very cool. Um, so the reason I started the channel was because um, I wanted to, again, kind of document some hikes and also because I do have a background in video production. It's what I studied in college and what I did early in my career. And uh, I kind of got away from it with my current job and uh, kind of wanted to get back into creating some videos and doing, doing some editing and just kind of having a creative outlet. And uh, it's super easy nowadays. I just use my iPhone. Uh, to record everything and then I edit everything using iMovie uh, on my Apple desktop computer. Super easy, nothing super complicated, not a lot of crazy production or anything. Um, so yeah, it, it's fun to to get creative and capture all this beautiful scenery that we have here uh, in, the, in the Sierras in the Reno area. So that's kind of why I got into doing uh, this channel. I uh, hope you enjoy. Um, if you have any comments or feedback on the videos, uh, it's always welcome. Things that you like, things that you don't like, things I could do differently. I'm always playing around with different formats and, and doing different things. So, yeah, on to the hill. There's where I parked my car down there. Right there. There's Mount Rose and Slide Mountain. downtown Reno. Yeah, great view, great day. Well, there are definitely horses here somewhere. Just haven't run into any yet. Maybe up there somewhere. So I've got a little more climbing to go. There's a cool little bench up here that 
is almost at the top of the climb. So I'll probably see you there in just a second. Also a lot of these guys up here. That's a pretty small one I saw. Really big one earlier, but I couldn't get him on video. Well, as usual, the video does not really do justice to the steepness of this climb. It's so steep that at times it's hard to keep traction. So you have to kind of walk pigeon toed <laughs> just to make it up the hill and step on all these rocks. But it's beautiful. Okay, I realized before I said pigeon toed. I think pigeon toed is when your toes are pointed in like that. Like you're making a snow plow or a pizza wedge on a ski slope. This is how I'm going up the hill. I don't know what you call that. Kind of like Charlie Chaplin walks or duck walk or something. I don't know. But it helps get up the steep hills. I'm almost at the top of the climb. There's this great bench called Max's Lookout. I don't know who Max was, but I'm glad they built a bench to sit on with a lovely view. Well, the reason I chose this insanely steep hike to do today is because I'm continuing to, to train for our trip in August, our backpacking trip up to Mount Whitney. Uh, most of you know Mount Whitney is the highest peak in the lower 48 states. Mount Denali in uh, Alaska is obviously higher, but uh, Mount Whitney is 14,500 feet and change, something like that. And we're doing a five day, four night uh, with you know one night at either end of the trail as well. A backpacking trip starting just uh, south of Whitney at Horseshoe Meadows and then making our way 40 some odd miles uh, and eventually summiting Whitney on the last day. So. Uh, I'm trying to do as many steep hills as I can to train for that because we'll have about a 3,500 foot climb the last day, over 14 miles, so uh, I need to train. And of course, that's all going to be at 14,000, 13,000, 12,000 feet, so a little going to be a little less oxygen than there is here where I'm at about 5,500 feet, so <laughs> got to train as much as possible because that's coming up quick. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm gonna make a video about that trip. Should be pretty amazing. So subscribe and hit the notification thingy, the bell there, so that you're notified as soon as I post the video, which will be shortly after I finish the trip. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna keep going up this hill, just a little ways to go, and then I'll be up on the ridge and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more then. orange soil over there and some of these beautiful rocks so yeah I'm done with the climb gonna get move along this ridge now and uh, I'll talk to you in just a little bit there's more of that reddish orange this trail and it's obvious that horses use this trail too. You see tons of hoof prints but obviously they were here when this trail was muddy because their hoof prints are down deep and they're all dried up. But maybe we'll see some horses a little further on. Still have to go around that way. Just kind of see the trail over there, and then I'll start heading down over that way. So not too much further. 
Well, I'm up here on the flatter, easier parts, and I'm not huffing and puffing. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about me. Um, so I'm 56, father of two kids who both go to University of Nevada, Reno. One is studying physics, the other one is studying teaching and biology. Uh, my wife is a teacher for the Washoe County School District. And when I'm not out hiking on trails, uh, I work as a technical artist uh, developing slot machines here in Reno. So um, I work from home, which is kind of nice. Uh, and I have lots of time on the weekends to go out and do things like this. Um, when I'm not hiking or working, you can usually find me on my bike cycling, trying to stave off aging as long as I can and stay in shape. <laughs> um, our family's been here in Reno for, or Sparks actually, for 17 years now. My wife will correct me. I think it's been about 17 years. And before that, uh, I worked down in the Bay Area in the visual effects industry, doing a lot more uh, video production oriented work. These days I'm mostly uh, just a, a pixel pusher uh, when I'm making slot machines, but uh, it does allow me to, to be creative and do some really, really fun things. And uh, um, I'm really lucky to uh, to be doing what I'm doing and working where I am. So yeah, I mean, and this is one of the best places in the world to to do this sort of thing, to get out and hike and create videos of just all this amazing, amazing scenery. Um, this year has been a challenge because of all the snow. I'm not too keen on doing any heavy duty snow hiking. Um, a little bit here and there is fine, but uh, this year I've mostly been down in the lower elevations, just kind of training. But uh, before long, we'll get up there into the mountains and uh, start hiking up in the trees. All right, here's this lovely orange colored hill. I can either go around to the right and go around the kind of the flank of the hill, or I can go straight up and over. Since I'm in kind of a training mode these days, trying to climb hills, I'm going to go straight up and over. Hooray. this thing I'm not sure what it is it's got a camera so maybe they're watching me some sort of weather station or something it's got the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration sticker on it so yeah wasn't expecting to find that up here well I hiked down this hill to this little flat spot in the junction up here talk a little bit more. I have to go to the right up here and uh, head down that way. But uh, yeah, my hiking videos, um, mostly hiking videos. I've got some backpacking videos too. I do like backpacking. I've been backpacking since I was a kid. Kind of got out of, out of it for a while and then when I moved up here and my son was in Boy Scouts and I was a Scoutmaster, I got more into backpacking, uh, which has been great. Uh, I've met up with some some good friends that also enjoy backpacking, so we do lots of trips together. Uh, my son did get his Eagle Scout, by the way, got to brag a little bit. And my daughter was also a Gold Award recipient as a Girl Scout, so I just have to, have to say that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, probably the longest backpacking trip I've ever done was the Tahoe Rim Trail a few years ago. That was a pretty epic trip, 12 and a half days, consecutive days backpacking around Lake Tahoe. Would highly recommend it if you're into backpacking. Um, probably one of the hardest backpacking trips that I've done was the uh, Benson Loop trip. The video is on my channel. Uh, that was a beautiful five day trip, but also very difficult, all at high altitude, um, but uh, oh, an amazing trip. Uh, so yeah, whenever I can, I do weekend trips around here or, you know, two night trips, whatever I can squeeze in. You know, again, we live in one of the most amazing places 
in terms of views and trails uh, to do backpacking and hiking. So uh, if you've ever been afraid of backpacking or reluctant to get into it, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, and you know, again, if you have any questions about rules, regulations, permits, uh, how to do it, that sort of thing, I'm always happy to answer them so you can leave questions in the comments on my channel. And I'll be happy to help you out. Just get out there and do it is my motto. So, all right. I'm probably not gonna film or talk too much more as I finish this hike because there are some pretty treacherous descents that I have to deal with and I need to have both hands free. So yeah, talk to you later. Last time I did this hike and I did it with my wife, uh, this was all, I think it was in January, a couple years ago, and it was all snow and ice through here and it's kind of a steep traverse. So it was uh, very slow going. We had, I think we had micro spikes at that point. Um, so yeah, it's a big difference this time with no snow. Here's a good look at all these kind of orange, red, yellow hills up here above Hidden Valley. Um, this is what, you know, you see if you're down on the, the valley floor in Reno, you look up this way, you'll see all these colors. It's really pretty. I'm guessing it's, like I said before, you know, either the soil's just been leached from all the snow and rain, and uh, it's just iron that's oxidized or something else, I don't know. Uh, if you know, put it in the comments. So yeah, now I have to go down, much like the, the ascent was very steep, the descent is also very steep. So uh, at least this time it won't be muddy like the last time. It'll just be dry and slippery. Hooray! Check out this hill and how red it is. It's very cool. There's also not much growing on it. I wonder if that's because of the composition of the soil and whatever is making it red. The iron, maybe? I don't know. Again, if you know, let me know. Um, so yeah, continuing on this descent. Um, just gonna mention, you know, backpacking. Probably one of my favorite places to backpack and hike is down at Point Reyes National Seashore, which is down near where I grew up. Uh, did lots of hiking there as a kid and some backpacking and also taking my kids down there, my wife down there. Just a, a marvelous place to, to walk around and they have some campsites that are right on the beach. And if you go the right time of year, you can do some whale watching and just, you know, nice moist, I know people hate that word, uh, wet, we'll use a different word, wet uh, forests and uh, just a, a great place to be. So yeah, that's probably one of my favorite places to go if I'm not up here in the Sierras. All right, big steep downhill pitch here. Ah. All right, so I'm almost done with all the descending, almost back to the car. So I'll wrap up the video real quick. Um, if you decide to do this hike, uh, make sure you do some research on all trails or at least have a Kind of a general idea of the trail system out here. There are lots and lots of little social trails and uh, trails that kind of go up over the ridge and continue on. Um, so just make sure you have some way to, to navigate so you don't get lost. Um, there'll be a relive video right after this that'll kind of show you the route I took and uh, some of the stats. I think it's probably gonna end up being four and a half to five miles maybe 12 or 1300 feet of climbing. So it's it's a pretty difficult hike, but again, you can do any number of trails out here and, and not make it so difficult. Uh, if it's a hot day, bring lots of water because there's not a lot of shade, like a lot of places here in Reno, um, or just come early in the morning. Today was kind of a perfect day, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I'll link the all trails map in the description of the video. 
and I think that's about it. So have a good one and uh, we'll see you next time. Tight fit.